Hey guys, this is iMovie How To showing you iMovie tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how you can apply brain effects to your video clips. Here is a finished result of what this tutorial will show you how to do. There are two types of rain that can be used. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply these following rain effects to your video clips. First, you need to make sure that you need to, that you go to iMovie Preferences. You have to make sure Show Advanced Tools is turned on. If you don't turn Show Advanced Tools on, then the effect will not work. Now, click on the link in the description to get to this page. When you get there, there are two options of rain you can do. There's, uh, there's a light version of the rain and a thick version of the rain. The light version is like line streaks, and the thick version is actually like little tiny pictures of raindrops. So depending on your needs, you can either do the light or the thick version. In my case, I can sh since I will show you both, I will download both. So to do that, you can just click on the link. So once they're done, once they're done downloading, they will open up in QuickTime Player. So when they do that, you can just click on the clip, and then you can quit it by hitting Capital Q or just go to QuickTime Player, quit QuickTime Player. Close the downloads window. You can minimize this window. So now in our movie, we need to make, go to File New Project and make a new project for a special effect. We can name it. Um, So once we have this project called Brain Effect, we can now put our source video clip in. So I have my source video clip in, but if you don't have it, you can import it. So I can just find my clip. Let's use this one. Drag it in. So now we need to import our green screen effect. So now we can do this, we need to go to File, Import, Movies, and then we can navigate to our Downloads folder. And then we can shift-click and select both of them, in my case. And now we can just add to the Special Effects event. So once you're done, you need to click on Import. Just wait for it to generate the thumbnails. Wait, wait for it to load, and it's loaded in. So now you can see in the project window, I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. It's a little bit bigger and you can see that this is sort of like line, thin rain, and this is like sort of a stylized raindrop style. So depending on the needs of your video, you can use either one of these. So I can first take this style of rain, select it like this, and then drag it to my project right, right over the clip. Then when I release my mouse, I can click on green screen. And that will insert the effect over the clip. You can see this seems a little bit washed out. So what, there's two things you can do. You can adjust the video levels of the source clip, or you can adjust the, the, the brightness and contrast levels of the green screen clip. So what I will do is both. So you double click on the source clip, or press the I key for the video tab, and you can just like turn the contrast a bit, a little bit down. Just play with these values, and then you can go to the green screen clip, and you can play with these values and just find the right place where you can see the effect. The effect. So once they're done, you can press the done button, and there we go. You can see the rain effect is applied. Let's just play it back. So now it looks like it's raining. So now I can go to the other effect, delete this clip, and you can go to the secondary effect. And drag it, and then you can drop it on, on top of the clip, select green screen. And like before, you can't see it that well, so we get to adjust the clip, double click on it, video tab, and adjust these values so you can see it less or more. 
Once you're done, you can just press the play button. See, it looks like it's raining. Thank you for watching this iMovie special effects tutorial. To see my other iMovie tutorials, click on the annotation above. Subscribe to me so you can see future iMovie videos. If you have any questions or have an iMovie tutorial request, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.